Did you ever wonder what the desert looked like when it was rainy? <laughs> well, this is it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm a <laughs> well, I'm laughing through gritted teeth. <laughs> This is not the Arizona weather that I anticipated when I came to Lake Havasu City. This is terrible. It's raining hard. Well, not real hard right now, but it's raining. It was raining hard earlier. The ground is just soaked. And uh, boy, I'm, I'm half tempted to pull up stakes and start headed somewhere else where there's more sun shining. I don't know where that might be. I guess I'd have to check AccuWeather and check the internet and see. But uh, holy smoke, this is less than satisfying. <laughs> Look out there at the mountains. They're hard to see through the fog of rain. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I got to say, today's weather is pretty disappointing. <laughs> this is not the Lake Havasu City I remembered, nor is it the Lake Havasu City that I left rainy Washington for. Although, Washington could be snowy Washington by now, and this is better than that. <laughs> it's about, only about 50, 55 degrees. Not good! <laughs> well, okay, weather is, uh, Getting a little more Lake Havasu City-like. <laughs> was a very, very rainy, wet, windy night. It lasted into the morning. Now it's uh, almost noon. And I'm beginning to recognize Arizona again. <laughs> One of my neighbors here at Lone Tree uh, just told me that last night there was there were a pair of wild burros that were setting off their motion alarm next to their fifth wheel right up here on the hill. So I'm going to go up there and see if I can see any burrow sign. Well, this is uh, the trail on the way up to Lone Tree Peak. I'm not going up there, but I'm just walking up the trail a little bit. Looking for donkey poop. <laughs> yeah, well, here we are. Partway up the trail going up to Lone Tree Peak. Looking for donkey poop, but sadly, I kind of pooped out. <laughs> I haven't found any. So maybe the donkeys that were up here that uh, Kim and Warren saw weren't in the mood to poop last night. <laughs> but I'm glad I came up here. It's a nice sunny morning. And I've been down to the gas station and the truck stop and filled up with gasoline and propane. And so I'm pretty well good to go for another couple weeks. My, my tanks are about half. So uh, everything's going to last me 
until I reach the end of my 14 day limit here at Lone Tree and then I'll go into Lake Havasu City to the Lake Havasu State Park and and I'll dump and take on water and freshen up the gas and the propane and on to the next boondocking spot. <laughs> Yabba dabba doo! So I'm, uh, I'm just sitting here with uh, my campground friend, Kim. Hello, Kim. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> and, and she was uh, remarking about chemtrails, uh, probably because she had looked up and saw all of them up in the sky. We are at Lone Tree Campground, BLM Campground, which is probably about eight maybe ten miles north of Lake Havasu City right along the Colorado River and uh, there are certainly a lot of what appear to be chemtrails above Lake Havasu City so now I said all of that to tell you that on the way here between Klamath Falls and Reno at one point, I counted 14 chemtrail lines, or maybe they're contrails, I don't know, and uh, seven jets that had uh, contrails or chemtrails coming out the back of them going all across the sky. They all appeared to be going north to south. Uh, I don't know what that matters, but they all did appear to be going north to south, and here these seem to be going a little bit more east and west. So anyway, for all of you conspiracy theorists out there, here at Lake Havasu City are the chemtrails, and here is the doodle! <laughs> doodle, 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 doodle! What you doing, doodle? Doodles, doodles, doodles. Doodles. Hey, don't you want to be famous? Huh? Don't you want to be famous, doodles? She says, no, get that camera. Well, this, my friends, is tracks of wild donkeys. This area where I am right now is a uh, very low spot in the wash and uh, there are all kinds of donkey tracks around here where they have come down after the rainstorm and this was a pond and they have had their fill to drink now in addition to that I've seen a lot of tracks which are likely coyote tracks. I've also seen some tracks that look to me like maybe a small black bear. Those tracks right there are as big as the palm of my hand. Some might say, oh, well, it's just dog tracks. But uh, I haven't seen any dog tracks around here that are that big. Come. 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 Stay with me. So, yeah, this, uh, this area over here last night was uh, an area that there was a lot of animal activity going on. Uh, a lot of crying and screaming and yipping. So I'm not sure exactly what was going on. But uh, it was... Uh, it was loud. Loud enough that it woke me up. Here's some uh, significant donkey tracks in here. A 
A lot of animal activity here last night. Very interesting. I don't know if maybe a, a pack of coyotes last night had gotten some wild donkeys uh, trapped down here. And they were trying to take down a donkey or, or what was going on, but there is a lot of track down here. And this is further evidence that uh, we've had wild donkeys around here. This is uh, very fresh. Not dried out at all, probably last night. This area is all scuffed up. Looks to me like, uh, like maybe a wild donkey, wild burrow was... Uh, was whirling and trying to defend himself against uh, attack. The ground is is really tore up right here. Oh, yummy, yummy lunch! You, uh, it's really simple to fix too. It's uh, one can of vegetable beef soup with barley and uh, about a half a cup of. Uh, broccoli and about a half a cup of carrots, about a half a cup of corn, and uh, a little bit of cheese on top, and ooh, it's lunchtime, yabba-dabba-doo! <laughs>